Hi, all my beautiful friends. Happy holidays. I know with the holidays coming up, being gift givers and thinking of ideas can be really difficult. So the season's coming up for lots of gift guides, vlogmas. I'm so excited. But for today's video, I have a nail haul for you. If you have been watching my channel or my TikToks for any significant amount of time, I have a little doggy and I have my beautiful tree in the background. So I hope you enjoy it because it's going to be in a lot of my backgrounds for December because I'm very proud of my pink or my rose gold tree. I also have my family tree that I will try to film in front of as well. But if you have watched my channel for any amount of time, I have always been a press on nail kind of girl. I advocate for press on nails. I think they're amazing. I think they're great for girls on a budget and I've worn any from the lower ranges of like five bucks and the most I've really ever spent was like $15 on a set of press on nails and that is a very rare occasion but you can look back on probably one to two shorts a month like short videos the little shorts I have plenty of press on videos where I show them um, not often do I review them, um, and I also have some hauls for you, so I will link all of those down below. But today, we have a nice haul from Bobbly, I believe the brand is. They reached out and asked if they could send me a few pairs of nails. It doesn't happen often that companies send me things, and I um, really make sure to look into the company. The nails looked really, really cute. They were super affordable. Um, I haven't really dove, dove, dove. Duh. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I haven't really dived into the packaging yet and seen anything. So it's going to be kind of like a first impression and haul with you guys. Um, they are very, very affordable. They had three types of um, nails. I believe they had some that you could custom, some that they just had ready, and then they had their more fancier nails. They also had every shape you could think of. It took me quite um, a bit of time to actually... Uh, pick out the nails because they did have an array of designs and shapes and everything you can think of. Um, they did ask me why I didn't pick out a couple of their fancier nails, but I um, do not really care for any type of 3D on my nails. It's very rare that I wear any type of like um, anything heavy because I just, I'm, I work with my hands a lot. I'm an aide for somebody who has autism and I work with them daily doing things and I'm also a part-time like homemaker so I need my hands and it's just unthinkable to think of anything that would be weighing my fingers down so today I want to show you this haul so if you're new to my channel my name is Charlie my channel is typically a lifestyle channel where I will do plus size content fashion anything that is affordable home decor, meals, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. That's why I kind of do a lifestyle channel where it's a, just a little bit of everything. So if that sounds interesting, I would love to have you. I've talked enough, let's dive right in. So let's get right into the packaging. I've talked long enough. So the packaging is gorgeous. It says hello with my name on it. Um, and I thought that was beautiful. I do love the pink packaging, even though I'm not someone who is like huge into pink. Um, I do love it. So the brand is I think it's a Bobbly, B-O-B-E-L-Y. Of course, I'm going to link everything for you, but look how beautiful the packaging. My daughter has been screeching at me to get into this because she can't wait to kind of look over these nails. So one thing I will say that was nice is they definitely um, did not skimp me. Oops, I just dropped one. I got to get that before my dogs go um, with the prep bags. I think that is incredible. They must have sent a prep bag for every set of nails. So in the prep bag, you get a alcohol sanitary pad, a cuticle pusher, a little thing of nail glue, which I think is probably theirs. And it looks to be a nail file, which I think is incredible. So they sent me quite a few. Before I rip the packaging, look how beautiful it is. They also sent a nice little note with it. Give your nails a sweet treat. Let's see what it says. Thank you for your order. And then they give you all the instructions on how to apply and prep your nails, which I think is awesome. And I will have all of their social media linked for you. I also will be posting pictures of these to my Instagram to get a better look if it's hard to see. Um, look even more. Look at all of these prep 
This is incredible. Now, I will be updating you guys on the quality of these nails, how they wear, what they look like in my shorts when I upload. I certainly couldn't try and wear all these on right now. Um, I typically wear my nails for about a week and a half to two weeks. I never try to go past 14 days just to avoid any type of fungus or any type of trouble. Um, and I would love to tell you that I properly remove them but I'm very guilty of just popping them off. I'm not gonna lie to you. I base my channel off of trying to always tell the truth and being honest. And the truth is I'm terrible with my natural nails. Now, I used to be very, very much the person who was, if you go back on my Instagram, I did nail art. So I've always been in love with doing nails. I used to have all kinds of beginner nail art on my uh, Instagram page. But then I got into press on nails. So it's like, it's something that's near and dear to my heart doing nails, but it does make me sad that I don't do my own anymore. But I just become busier and busier. So you did get this nice tissue paper. Let's get that out of the way. And let's just get into the haul. And like I was going to say, I will update as I wear these or as my daughter wears them because they did give me a lot. And these were all right around, I think $4.99 each. Um... I will update you how they wear, what the quality is, such things like that. Okay, so the very first pair I picked I thought would be super cute for February. For like Valentine's Day, I really hope... Oh yeah, you can pick them up on... Oh, I'll definitely post some better pictures on my Instagram for you to get a better look. And obviously their social media as well. But look how adorable these are. I thought they would be so cute for Valentine's Day. They just have little hearts. I know it's a little hard to see. These are not something I typically would pick out, but I thought they were cute. I definitely, um, I don't love coffin shaped nails. I just think they look terrible on me or the ballerina. I don't like them. I prefer either a squoval or a traditional square or almond round. Um, I love stiletto as well. I just don't go for the ballerina shape and I thought these were cute. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is very, very flattering. These were calling my name. Metallic is like coming back in this like duo chrome and I thought these were stunning. I hope they're picking up when I look back. Maybe I can pop in. Um, I'm going to put pictures on my Instagram for you guys, but look how gorgeous these are. The shift is beautiful and because they are silver you definitely could wear them for the christmas season i mean you can wear nails whenever you would like any type of nail but sometimes i always think about like okay they would be good for this time of the year and look at the shift in these they're just so gorgeous these would be beautiful for this time of the year and i like the length i like that they offered you some short options because I know a lot of my girls on here, if you have an office job or a job that requires you to use your hands a lot, um, maybe long nails aren't the way to go for you. So I thought those were gorgeous. I also have quite a bit of weddings coming up here in the near future. My sister just got engaged. My cousin just got engaged. They literally, this is how insanely connected my family is. No one knew this. No one planned this. They got engaged Saturday and then Sunday, same week one day after the other. It was quite incredible for our family. And then we have a friend's wedding. I'm not exactly sure, but um, the wedding, I was keeping that in mind when I was picking out nails. I love simple, pearly nails. Yes, I'm one of those girls that really loves the pearl nails. The very, what are those? The um, French boomer nails. Is that what they're called? The ones that... Um, I love a classic French nail. I love that. I also, I think they're called the boomer nails. I don't remember you guys, um, but I just love a very pearly, oh, I don't want to rip the packaging, but I might have to, to get these out. I really want to show you these because I feel like these would be good for Christmas as well. You could paint these if you wanted to, but I don't feel any need to. They're like this pearlescent, beautiful nail. And I love the almond shape. Look how beautiful. And it has like a blue shift to it. And I love it. No, honey. No barking. Okay, moving right along. They sent me quite a few pairs. I'm really actually uh, surprised. 
Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what shape these exactly are, but they are gorgeous. So they were just a pink um, French with a silver tip. I thought that was so unique. Let me try to pull myself a little closer so you guys can really see. I'm on carpet so my chair doesn't want to swirl. Okay, let me go. Now that I'm a little closer, you really can see. So I had these. There we go. So cute. These I think will be perfect for Christmas and the holiday, Sandy season. I think silver is a very classic. Silver and gold obviously is a very classic Christmas time. And then you have these pearlescence, beautiful nails. You guys, they sent me so many prep pads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's incredible. I was, I'm very appreciative of that. So I believe, I did want to say this before I really get into this pair. Um, the whole haul, I believe it was like right around 40 bucks. So <laughs> for literally less than one month nail salon trip, I got two, four, six, eight, nine pairs of nails. Now I don't know the quality. I'm excited to wear these and really update you. I will keep you posted. But so far, this is just technically the haul. This isn't like a review. This is just like an unboxing and haul, but I definitely will keep you posted. Okay, so these are just stunning. I don't know exactly what shape you would call these um, because it, the way they did the French on them kind of cuts them off. So they're not quite square, but they're definitely not the ballerina. I feel like they're almost like an almond shape with a square top. I like them. I think they're pretty interesting. I like that they're um, a little bit translucent and see-through, so it just gives you more of a natural look. I like these, and I really loved the flesh tone on them. I think these are gorgeous. I really did like these a lot, and they were so affordable, and I'm really hoping they um, wear as nice as they look. This next pair I was keeping in mind for spring. I know that's quite a while away, but they did give me so many. I could definitely save these for the spring. Look how cute they are. So you have little clouds, little smiley faces, flowers, and little checkers. I thought these were so cute. And I feel like these would be perfect for the tr transition into spring. I know we haven't even begun winter, but I like to think ahead, I guess. I can remember back in the day, I would go to the nail salon and for like $25, I would get a set of acrylics. Um, and I can remember the very first time, I feel like I was very ahead of my time not to toot my own horn, but um, I remember my husband, we were so young, we couldn't even afford to even be getting nails done, but he would take he would take me and sit with me while I would get my nails done. I used to think it was the cutest thing. We weren't even married yet. And I can remember talking to the guy and asking him if he could do extra long lime green nails. I really wish... I had pictures of some of the nail designs I used to do um, when I would get acrylics. And he said, well, I have to charge a little more and that's okay, if that's okay. And I was like, of course. And they were long, you guys. And people would stop me and they'd be like, oh, those are some fingernails. Because I guess then they weren't as popular as they are now. I've always loved my nails. And then, of course, they're very pricey. And you hear these horrible stories of people who are just so not satisfied and I think that's kind of what turned me off of some of the nail salons. And that's why I love doing press-ons because you just always know what you're getting. You always know the quality. You can pick out your design. You know what you're going to be putting on. And they're so cost-effective and affordable. It just makes sense in my life. And in a lot of my friends that I talk to on here, they also love the press-ons. Um, it's just so expensive. So I just wanted to share that tidbit too, not to feel bad if you love press-ons because I love press-ons. I also used to love nail art. I really hope, so. I always say that and I you don't ever have to follow me, but if you could just look at some of them and let me know what you think. I used to love doing nail art. It was a passion of mine. Okay, so this next pair are unique. They are very duochrome, but they have like a hint of a gold undertone. I love duochrome. I must've been really in like that mood to get these duochrome. Um, I love the almond shape. These also would be good for this time of the year because they do have that Christmas Eve vibe to them. These are gorgeous, 10 out of 10. And like I said, right now I'm just hauling these nails. I definitely will keep you posted on what I really think. So then I remember picking these out because I love, I love twists, twists on French nails. Whether it's 
modern French, um, classic French, just something that kind of resembles it. I love the thin. It also comes down on the sides. I love this type. I wish I knew what this shape was because it's maybe this is what like a squoval is where it's a little bit of an oval, but a little more square. Isn't that what squoval is? I would assume so, but look at those. These are so beautiful. Okay, we're moving right along to the next set that I have. But yes, I literally love these French. I think they're gorgeous. Whoops. We got so many going, they're gonna fall and I don't want my dogs getting them. You guys, I have to show you this eye look. Look how gorgeous this is. <laughs> I just wanted to show you because I couldn't believe I keep staring at it and it's so pretty on camera. All right, we got two more pairs left, which I think is an amazing haul. These are gorgeous. So these are very much like the silver ones, but these are a blue tip. I'm so excited to wear these. These are so cute. I will definitely link every single pair I picked out for you guys. And last but not least, I did go for, I guess, one of their, um, like, cat nails. What are these? Stiletto. And I guess I was really feeling these shifty nails. I feel like they look beautiful on the hand and classy. And, oh, I know what I was saying. My dog started barking, you guys, so I had to cut the video for a minute. Um, French nails on men or women looks gorgeous. I know there are men that love their nails done. I think more men should get their nails done. Even straight men should get their nails done. I think it's a nice pamper. Um, even if you just get like a, even if you just give yourself like a regular manicure, you go get one. You don't necessarily need to wear polishes, but I feel like French is just so gorgeous on pretty much everyone. I've never looked at French nails and didn't think they were beautiful. I love these. I really must have been in a mood for those like glazed donut nails, I guess they're called. But look, these have like a beautiful blue shift. They are a um, gradient and I really, really love these. So they were all of the nails. I really wanna say thank you to I really want to say thank you to Bobbly. I believe this is how you say it, Bobbly. I, I don't know, Bobbly. I'm going to say that's how you say it, Bobbly. I really want to say thank you for sending these nails. I will definitely keep all of my friends on here posted. I am so excited to start Vlogmas here. It starts literally tomorrow. I have a little bit of footage to edit and start vlogging. Um, it's going to be fun. My birthday here, my birthday is coming up here in 12 days. I try to like my birthday, but it's hard to know that you're getting a little bit older and things are just moving so quickly. But the month of December is very busy. It's my birthday, then my grandfather's birthday, then my husband's birthday. But um, my family has kind of agreed to let me film them a little bit. So Vlogmas should be really interesting this year. I haven't even begun shopping. And I know I said it last year on my videos that I would never wait till December. But here I am and it's December 1st tomorrow and I've waited to shop. I hosted Thanksgiving for the first time this year and I feel like that's what set me behind. So I'm going to go with that and use that as my excuse. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I would absolutely love you all to stick around and subscribe. And like I said, I will keep you posted on the quality of the nails and what they look like on the fingers here very soon. I will be switching out these nails very, very soon. The only thing I noticed about these is they stained, stained very easily. I must have been wearing a pair of pants yesterday they were black and they must have had a lot of dye in them because they definitely stained these nails i don't think you can tell on camera but i will be changing out my nails very very soon and i will make sure to update you so if you have any questions feel free to definitely leave them down below for me let me know if you're into press on nails and what's your favorite brand of uh press on nails i love trying new ones i love trying new companies i love supporting small businesses big businesses anything you can think of definitely let me know any brands that you really love my top like favorite favorite brand is kit and then salon perfect but that's definitely can be negotiated and can be bumped. I would love one day to work with Dove and Kiss Nails. Those are two of like my favorite brands. But I really want to say a big thank you to this company for sending these to me. Um, and I can't wait to update you on the quality and what they look like. And I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope to see all of you in the next couple of weeks for Vlogmas. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, my sweet friends.